taste bear. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, hello everybody. We are here with the amazing Ryan McConaughey at Moody Radio in Chicago. Um, this is one of the top Christian radio stations in the area, right? They mix so. anybody and everybody who is a major Christian artist comes through here. They come, they do interviews, they do performances, and Ryan is the guy who is behind it doing all the mixing and things. So I just wanted to give you guys some of his tips because it's awesome to hear on the other side, actually the technical things and people who are listening to major professional voices, Grammy award winning voices all the time, some little tips and ideas that he has and that things that he sees that amazing vocalists that they do. So, Ryan, how yeah. you doing? I'm great, thanks Good. for having me. Always, I'm so fun. <laughs> I always love hanging out with him. He has recorded some of my CDs and he's awesome. He's just so amazing, such a good guy. Mm. Um, but real quick, who are some of your favorite people that have come through that you have got to mix and um, help perform and do all that stuff? Well, yeah, I've had the pleasure of having some bigger name Christian artists, some up and coming artists yeah. come through and and we've had them uh, live on the, on the radio. It's uh, Let's see, some of my favorites, probably Casting Crowns was here about four years ago. Uh, Mercy Me, that was fun. Kind of an acoustic set. Tor Torn Wells, how do you pronounce it? Torn, Torn Wells, yeah, he did the, the song Hills and Valleys. He's a, he's a big, he's kind of a big name these days. So, so he was good. here last year and he was awesome. So uh, yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's always fun. I mean, it's, I, my, my big thing here is music, so I, I mean, the majority of what we do here is probably more talk show stuff, but when we get a chance to do music, I, I always love it. So. Totally. Okay, yeah. so what do you think, what would you say to the singers, what are some good tips? I know too, because you always are recording CDs for people, so mm. you definitely know how do, what do people do to make their yeah. vocal performance and their voices the best and things that you appreciate on the other side of the mixing board? Sure. Um, I'd, I'd say the big thing, the, the one big thing going here, I made some notes don't mind me <laughs> so, looking at so my phone here. I'm not texting or anything. <laughs> <So> uh, <laughs> very high tech here. Yeah. So, um, I'd say before going into the studio, a big thing is pre-production. Mm. So making sure you've got all your lyrics down. You're not just making things up in the studio, wasting time. Totally. I mean, there, the studio time can be great for coming up with new ideas, but have the majority of your, um, your just like the, the initial song itself, the lyrics, the, the melody, the, if you're doing any harmonies, yeah. make sure you kind of work through those ahead of time, um, either with arrangements, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, if you have a chance to record yourself on your phone um, and play it back just to kind of see how it sounds, that's that's a cool thing to do. Um, so yeah, pre-production is key, making Being sure prepared. you come prepared mm -hmm. so that you're not wasting your time, the engineer's time, if it's, if he's charging hourly, you know, that can stack oh my up. Gosh, right. <laughs> Talking about ideas and coming up with harmonies, yeah. costs, it can cost you hundreds of dollars. Exactly. Right? So pre-production, um, another thing, I guess just just make make sure you prepare your body going into the session. Make sure you're well rested, mm -hmm. you're hydrated. Drink lots of water, uh, like a couple days going into it, mm -hmm. so you're nice and hydrated. Look, um, these are all tips I have said. Uh, yeah. yeah, my lessons are just crazy. I'm not just making it up. These exactly. Are yeah, it's you, always good. Yeah, John said the exact same things uh -huh. the other day. It's super important. Yeah, the voice make, in your body. It yeah. is all affected together. And I guess the day of, make sure. Um, when you're drinking water, make sure it's not cold water because that can kind of constrict your vocal cords, I know. Um, so like room temperature water, mm. um, bring lots of it during the, the day of the session, big water bottle, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's kind of more pr uh, preparing yourself going into the session. Um, it is, that's huge. It sounds like a little thing, but it's not yeah, at all. It's, it makes it's big. such a big it's difference. Big. It really does. Get some um, things get weird. Getting into the technical thing aspects, um, I mean, this is something you'd work on with your engineer, whoever is engineering your project. Um, getting a good headphone mix, mm. making sure you can hear all the necessary elements in the headphones while you sing, is is huge. So you can follow along with the tempo. If you need some sort of metronome going on in your ears, so you can follow along. You can request that in your mix, um, and also make sure you can hear yourself enough, but not too much. Yeah. I think a lot of what a, what a lot of people tend to do is they like to crank themselves up in their headphones and that'll tend to make you not project as much I think mm. so if you have yourself 
blasting in your headphones, you'll probably sing, tend to sing quieter and mm -hmm. not give your full voice. So um, get a good balance uh, in, your, in your headphones so that you can um, give your best performance um, is, is a huge thing. I think that's super huge. I yeah. think that's super important. And things that it sounds simple, but all those things make a huge difference. Exactly. Really huge. If you can't hear yourself well, right. it really does affect what you're going to do. Another thing you can do, what a lot of people do is you'll see them um, have one headphone off mm -hmm. and one on. So you can kind of hear yourself in the natural room space um, as well as in, in, the, in the other headphone, just so you can kind of get a natural balance. You can hear yourself a little bit better uh, naturally in the room can also be a good tip. Um, That's good. What else? Um, yeah, I mean, projection, uh, breath support, all key things. I'm sure you teach that in your <laughs> yeah. classes a lot. Definitely, but it's always good to have more breath people support, say yeah. <laughs> Make support. sure you're breathing well. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths. Um, yeah, projection, just make sure you're, you know, singing out like you're singing in your bedroom or your shower or whatever. It's, you, you'll get the best performance if you project low. Mm -hmm. Totally, and you relax um, just like you would be yeah. at home because then people kind of tighten up and get nervous. In exactly. Their yeah, if someone's coming into the studio like for the first time and like I can, I can tell, it's like they're, they're kind of timid when they're, when they're singing and it's, you, you got to kind of have to get them to come out of their shell a little bit and project and, um, yeah, I mean, when you're working with um, a, a typical microphone in the studio, like a large diaphragm condenser microphone, um, it, it'll have a sweet spot. Mm. Uh, usually you'll have, make sure you, I mean, this is something your engineer will most definitely have in place, a pop filter mm. in front of the microphone so that your P's and your B's called plosives don't distort into the mic. So having a pop filter in front of the microphone, but also not being right up on that pop filter, back up a little bit, maybe I'd say typically like three to four inches. Um, the pop filter looks like a screen. You probably have seen yeah. it before. It's like a little circle. It's it almost like looks mesh. like a nylon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that will just protect the microphone from your plosives mm -hmm. when you pronounce P's and B's. Mm -hmm. So that's key. Um, but then also, yeah, just make sure you're at a nice distance back from that pop filter. Because if you get too close, You'll get what's called proximity effect into the microphone. It'll be very muddy sounding mm -hmm. and woofy mm -hmm. and bassy, mm -hmm. and that's hard to correct later on if you're mixing it down. So back off a little bit. If you're really belting out one part, feel free to back off the mic even a little bit more. Not too far because you'll start to hear more of the room, and um, that'll probably not be good in the long run. So yeah, it's always good just to kind of you know stay in the sweet spot on average. But then when you start belting back up a little bit so you're not cranking into the mic. That's a super good point, actually. Mm. And even when you're doing it live, definitely right, yeah. back it up. I was just somewhere, I was at a restaurant and they were also having karaoke. Mm. So I had the amazing pleasure of hearing this lady oh, sing karaoke. Wonderful. And she uh, wanted wanted to be a powerhouse, mm. <laughs> which bless her heart. The problem was she didn't want to back away. So yeah. we were sitting in the back of the restaurant and it was hurting my ears because mm. she was like, la, la, yes. like every single note. And it was so loud. It was like shaking the core of your Oof. being. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I know and what I'm you're like, about. you know, you've been there. We've I've all been, been there. there. I mean, mixing sure. for church <laughs> yeah. with vocalists who aren't as experienced. Yeah, mic, yes. te mic technique is definitely uh, it's something you have to master. Yeah. It's a thing. So if you haven't already watched that module on the singing lab, you can go back and check that out. All these things Indeed. are in the singing lab, breathing um, ideas, ways to relax in the studio, studio tips if you're recording, if you're performing, all that stuff is in the singing lab. So you can check that all out. Um, yeah. If you have other questions too, you can let me know. But. Ryan, yes. you're amazing. Hey. Do you have any other tips? I do. Oh, um, what you got? So this is, might be kind of overlooked a lot, but um, copies of your lyrics. Oh, yes. It's always great to have that out for yourself, not only for yourself, but for your producer and your engineer yes. that can follow along on the sheet as you sing. So they can say, hey, I don't like that way that chorus sounded. Go back to where you said this, blah, blah, blah. So being prepared with with copies of your lyrics. Yes, I always is, forget is a good that. Thing, yeah. That's really good. Uh, uh, in, along that line, I've found that a lot of people like to use their phones when they're looking at, when they're singing, they ha have this up when they're trying to look at their lyrics or whatever. That can kind of sometimes, depending on your device, it can create interference in the mic. Oh, shoot. I found that out recently in a session. Oh, no. Someone had their phone right next to the mic and I hear like a buzzing, like oh, a no. weird noise. There's some sort of interference going on with the wireless uh, frequencies or radio frequencies or whatever so make sure yeah I would say if you can just 
put your phone in the in the other room or put it behind you so it's yeah. not interfering with the microphone signal. Um, yeah, because that'll, that'll that'll kill you if you don't notice it at first. And someone's going back and mixing in like, what's that noise? No, and you can't get it out of that yeah. point. You're stuck. You're trapped. You're exactly. Coming. Oh my gosh. Um, what else do I have? I mean. I, mean, I, I wrote down pr pronunciation, dictation, uh, or is it dictation, diction? I don't know. Um, a lot of people will um, kind of under enunciate words. I think it's so, some sometimes you'll I'll, I'll listen back after we record something, and I'll say, "What did you say there?" And I'll I think you said this, but then I was like, "No, I didn't say that. I said this." So pronunciation is a, is another key it's thing. Huge. Yeah, I can oh, see that. Um, so practice kind of over pronunciating some words not where it starts to sound corny or mm -hmm. weird but just make sure people can understand what you're saying yeah that's I think that's thing. true it even adds a little bit of volume that yeah you don't even realize to parts that might be little yeah. you can't hear different things are bad that's exactly bad. yeah so, yeah cool that's awesome um, so many good nuggets <laughs> and I think yeah the, the last thing I have don't over exert yourself um, overall in the in a, in a vocal recording session hmm. meaning um, you've been recording vocals for what, like five hours and you start to really feel fatigue in your voice set mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and um, I would say yeah pace yourself with um, th with uh, recording vocals if you start feeling any fatigue um, and you feel like it's gonna affect your overall performance I would say stop and come back another day if you can um, so yeah, just don't overexert yourself. Just kind of plan out ahead of time how many hours you're gonna to want to go. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's it's not good if you start feeling fatigue and you still want to push yourself. Sometimes that can can give you bad results later. Totally, and you don't want that. That's the worst. You in start the world. making lazy mistakes, like oh that sounds fine. You'll fix that in post production. Right. Don't do it. Save yeah. yourself. It is not worth it in the end. Yeah, Let's I mean, I, I felt that as an engineer. It's like. Yeah. If you're trying to give people advice on okay that that take sounded good um, it probably could be better but uh, it's fine we'll fix it later yeah it's always good to yeah pace yourself mm -hmm. don't, don't uh, try to pack too much into one session yeah if you can afford to space it out over a few days or whatever you know and plan so that you can make it the most sticking to that higher level of yes. excellence and making a plan for yeah you knowing. always you always want to make sure you re you record the best possible um, uh, performance mm -hmm. because you, yeah that's some, that's not something you can really fake in the post production <laughs> right and later on you go back and listen yeah. to it I remember some of my first recordings listening to it being like oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh what is what happened it's like you, you, you can do certain things like tuning yes. a little bit but you want to make sure you're capturing the best possible performance um, that's key. So. Absolutely, totally. El and Ryan is awesome. He's amazing. Um, if you guys ever <laughs> listen to Moody Radio, he's the one behind it all. Oh. He's awesome. Seriously, does such amazing things. So thank you so much for giving these guys your input, your knowledge. He does. He does so many recordings and live sound mm -hmm. and a bunch of churches around and things like that. So he has a lot of experience. So it's so amazing to get to hear his input on that and definitely take what he's saying for real because he has been there and definitely helped. Preparing is so important. Mic placement and holding your mic and mm -hmm. doing those things in advance is so important. Having lyrics with you when you're recording, um, yeah, definitely. And if you have any questions, feel free, let me know. But thank you so much to Ryan. Yeah, you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Did we do it?